Welcome back to my channel. So tonight, I say tonight because the lights are out, it's dark. There were riots and protests downtown Seattle, downtown Bellevue. We have a curfew in effect now. I am not in the best mood and I probably should not be filming. Let's just be real. But I also did my makeup today, which I didn't intend on doing. And even though I already took my eyelashes off, so I feel a tiny bit naked, I felt like I should not waste what is left of my face, even though I'm on here all the time without makeup or very little makeup anyways, and bring to you my fashion overhaul, the latest and greatest that I have purchased from Fashion Nova. <laughs> By the way, you guys, they do take afterpay, so that is how I am able to afford to even purchase new clothes. Otherwise, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be wearing this. Just, it's just that factual. So, um, yeah, let's let's just get right on into showing you guys the clothes I picked up. If you're curious to know what's on my face, I'll have it shortly up on my Instagram page, Seattle MUA Renee. By the way, I so much appreciate my new subscribers, my new supporters. I love you guys. Thank you. However you found me, even if it was through a giveaway or a giveaway that I currently still have up, I just want to say thank you for your support. I also want to say that I am a human. Like, I'm human. Therefore, I have feelings. I have emotions. I'm not a robot. I am not someone that just hands out makeup to people. And I'm sick of talking about it. I know that no matter what I say, I'm still going to get messages. I'm still going to get people demanding, when are you going to announce the giveaway winner when there's still a week left? I understand that no matter what I say or do, that shit is going to continue in my life. So I just need to deal with it. And I want to say I love you guys. And for my supporters, you guys are the reason that I am even here in front of the camera and let me get to showing you what I got from Fashion Nova. By the way, these joggers, so I got them in this camo print. I loved that it is the cool kind of spectrum, but it's not your typical olive, because I have some of those. But you guys, this material, it's like, pajamas. I almost feel like maybe I shouldn't wear them out of the house, but they're so comfortable. I'm going to be wearing them everywhere. And I got a small, but just so you guys can see, like they can go up super high. They have the drawstring and the cinched waist, but you guys, this material, like it's so hard to explain material, kind of like swimsuit very stretchy, very comfortable. I could live in these. In fact, I have been for a few days. And then just this plain crop top, crop, crop top. <sighs> Tongue salad. But I love this one because it's super stretchy. It doesn't have adjustable straps, but I do like how it has the scoop back as well too. Just a nice staple piece to wear with joggers. Been wearing this all day, not gonna lie. And let's change. 
So even though they're exactly the same, I just figured I should show you the leopard prints and they are skinny leg <laughs> joggers, but highly, highly recommend. I'll try to leave links to everything below and while you're below, <laughs> try, try, no, don't try, just subscribe, just do it. Cause you don't want to miss this. Okay, I'm going to change now. Okay, this dress is a little revealing and I didn't feel like changing my bra. So I'm just warning you. <laughs> I am a little busty, naturally. Not much I can do about that. So I do love this dress. I just have to try it on with a non-push-up bra and see if it will work for me. I'm a little unsure about this one. I definitely think that I would uh, fall out. So. I'm not gonna be bending over, but love the color. I had to try it. I have a mirror over here. If I'm looking over that way, I'm not just staring off into space. I'm making sure I'm in the frame, but yeah, super cute. I would definitely recommend it if you have a smaller chest because it does also have some padding in it which of course is not doing me any favors but yeah gonna change out of this one this one i love it took me a minute to get on and i don't even have it fully on and i'm not gonna put it fully on but i got these cargo pants obviously high-rise joggers if you can't tell it's kind of my thing lately i love that it has zipper details and the cargo and these are really really soft too they almost have kind of like a faux suede feel to them and then just this crop top and it has a lace zip up back <laughs> so love that it does have a little bit of padding here and it zips and it also has a uh, fasten at the back there so it definitely secures you all up inside there perfect for summer you could even wear it with like a really flowy dress that would look super duper cute this outfit is just kind of a disappointment on the model it is it does come knotted but on the model it's shown like this and since it doesn't have adjustable straps i'm kind of screwed but i got a small and it just it just doesn't fit i feel frumpy and i'm not quite sure about these pants they do flare which is super super cute i loved the print I love the style I just feel like they're doing something a little odd here even though they don't have pockets it's like this part right here kind of flares a little bit out and makes it look like I have kind of hips that I don't have I have hips but they don't look like that so I don't know, guys, what do you think about the pants? The top, definitely no, going back, it's just too loose and eh, 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 eh. But I wish I could show you the pants. <laughs> there, did you see them? Super cute. I don't know, I'm so torn, but this top has just gotta go for now. I'm just going to do that. So let me know what you guys think about these pants. Really curious to get your opinion. Let's test your eyesight. Make sense? I had to get this.
tie-dyed and I like this tie-dye it's not too wham bam thank you tie-dyed bam in your face and it says fashion blogger cropped and then these cute little shorts high-waisted of course and they're kind of like a sateen material pockets belt buttons they just they got it all going on in one short and then one other thing I have to show you they have all kinds of masks but I had to get this one I like this style It says America's strong <laughs> in case you couldn't read. So got that. Definitely plan on wearing this when I'm out and about. If I ever get out and about. It's scary times right now, guys. And um I'm gonna end it with that. But I have a few more things and I'll probably just blah, 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 just kind of hold them up and show you because it's late I'm tired like I said I didn't have the best day and I don't want to be one of those people that comes on YouTube and everybody says what's wrong why she's off she just seems sad she doesn't seem like she really wants to make videos but I actually really did want to make this video it's just that so many other things happen today and then with everything locally that's going on and having giveaways running it's just it's a lot for one girl to take on but i have some exciting things that are happening and that are happening because of my hard work so it kind of motivates me to keep going and keep pushing myself because if you keep pushing yourself, you will eventually get somewhere and you will eventually see something. It may not be immediately what you want right in front of you, but if you keep just going at it, you will eventually get somewhere that is closer to your goal and closer to where you eventually want to be. So if you want more motivation, see my last post because it definitely is that as well as talking about some of my own struggles with social media and depression, anxiety, fake friends, I get into it all. And with that, I'm going to go to bed. I love you guys. Thank you for your support. Please, please stay safe out there. And to everybody protesting, there are just so many other options and better ways as opposed to rioting and looting to get a point across. So I'm going to leave all the information for Floyd and I just want to express my deepest, deepest condolences to not just George Floyd, but to every life that is lost, whether it's lost by brutality or murder, but life is life and I don't see color. I can't understand people that do. I don't understand that mentality and that mindset. So I'll never be able to grasp and quantify that even happening in our communities. But I don't know if you guys looked at the calendar. It's 2020. And like Tupac said, changes. We all need to make a change and we all need to do better. And it starts with you and I'm gonna go to bed. I love you guys. Make sure to subscribe.
subscribe and you'll get to hear more of that because I do it a lot. I also say so. So, good night. But not the dress to exactly try on after you have brownies for breakfast and definitely shows um, some lace on my underwear, but I have to wear underwear. And I'm also wearing a weird bra wax, but I mean, the world most comfortable joggers ever. I am thankful that I got them in leopard too. So I can be like Carol Baskin. I know the name. I haven't watched the documentary. I'm not going to watch the documentary. Chloe, what do you think of my hopes? Why does the glasses work on you?